Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to do a what's in my makeup bag. So this is my makeup bag. Obviously, if you guys want to know what I have right here inside, then obviously keep on watching. Also, I just want to pause myself. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Lorene. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos. If you guys like keeping up with the trends like I do, then obviously don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you guys are a returning subscribers, then thank you so much for subscribing since day one or whatever day you guys subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and um, yeah so without further ado let's get started with this video so I actually got this makeup bag a year ago on Christmas Day so this was actually given to me my from my um, a mom's friend so it's very very nice and this one just has a little like bedazzle right here all around it which is so cute and then um, all around it is color blue which is my favorite color and I'm obsessed with it so we'll just open this and so the first thing that I have that I'm seeing is some makeup remover I'm actually running out already but I'm just using the Berkley Jensen one because it's the cheapest one that um, they have. So, um, but I'm still trying to see more um, makeup removers that I'm just like getting into and stuff like that. So I'm still testing and reviewing other makeup removers. So, but for now, I'm just sticking with the Berkley Jensen one. So. And then the next thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is this Cheek Parade. This one actually did a review and slash um, swatch with it. So obviously if you guys haven't watched that, then obviously link will be down below. And um, so they have actually a lot of great stuff inside. I actually don't use this brush. I use my own brush to use all of these products. But I have been obsessing the Real Hula Original and the Dandelion one for my cheeks. And I am obsessed with it and it smells so good I don't know what it is but it smells amazing and then the next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is this Too Faced Sweet Peach palette so I just got this recently so I've been trying it out I haven't used a lot of stuff inside it yet but um, I am obsessed with all of the colors and it smells so good and um, yeah oh my gosh and then the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this Smashbox Mascara. And this I just have been using it recently. But the one that I have been loving is the Voluminizing Million Lashes one. I still haven't bought a new one of those. So I already kind of already got dried out and um, finished it all up already. So I need a new one of those. But I'm just using the Smashbox right now. And then another thing that I have is this Visine Original Redness Relief. This drops, eye drops. I actually need this especially since I'm wearing I wearing my contacts. So it's really, really nice to have this to carry because my eyes tend to really get dry fast and it gets irritated really fast. So this is very, very helpful. I actually use this when we went to Virginia, which is really, really nice. So handy. And then another thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is this simple um, replenishing rich moisturizer that I have actually showed you guys this on my night routine. I've been loving this as my moisturizer, but I actually use this. Um, I actually just bought this recently as well. So um, I'm still iffy about it, but I'm still trying out more different moisturizers. So the other thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is this Pixi product. And this one is the Glow Mist, as you guys could tell. It's almost finished. This is actually, I put this on my August favorites. So if you guys haven't watched that, link will be down in the description box. So it's really, really nice and I love it. I am obsessed with this. And then the next thing that I have is another Pixi product is this Rose Oil Blend. This one actually, why... I don't know if you guys could see, but my face has been really, really clear and I have been loving all the Pixi products that I've been putting on my face. So, yes. So another thing that I have is this e.l.f. Cosmetic perfect finish HD powder. This is very very nice for me because my face always tends to get oily really really fast so this is very very handy for me. 
Also, I don't want to get chappy lips. I just have this chapstick in strawberry flavor. And then for my on-the-go highlight, I just have this Benefit High Beam that I've been using this summer. And then another one that I'm going to be showing you guys is this the professional one and it's just the travel size one as well so for my eyebrows i just have this wet and wild fergie and this one is in coco and i just have this one and then another eyebrows product that i'm going to be showing you guys is this benefit give me brow right here and then for my eyeliner, I'm just using this Milani Infinite Liquid Eyeliner up to 24 hour wear. This is actually amazing. Like, I'm so speechless. But then it's just so hard to get rid of and take off. But it actually lasts a very, very long time. So the next thing I'm going to be showing to you guys is for my lips. This one is the Jordani Sweet Cream Matte and this one is in the Cinnamon Toast. I always carry this with me because it matches my outer lip portion which is really really nice. And I actually found this out, this product, Jordani one and also my Milani one. I found that out from my sister so thanks sister. And last but not least, I just have a few brushes right here so I just have for my highlight right here this one is for the eyebrows <laughs> this one is for the eyebrows and this one is for blending this one is for my cheeks my blush and also for bronzer and then for my eyebrows is this one and then this one is for my shimmer shimmery part for my eyes and that is it for my what's in my makeup bag hope you guys like this video and don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and please subscribe down below and also thank you guys so much for watching again and bye see you next time